What's in a number? A blue number. This is Alan with Quarter Horse Arms. And I uh, muddled my way through a bunch of surveys and some statistical um, data related to firearms. So what I thought I would do is in this podcast share the results of them with you. Now, some of these are for, like from the Department of Justice, um, the Rand Corporation, um, and a huge study or survey uh, from Police One, which is an online you know, law enforcement officer supporting organization with news and all kinds of stuff like that. They surveyed 15,000 law enforcement officers. And so some of the data I'm going to give you is based on, you know, what the law enforcement officers have said. Some of it's going to be some really weird, contradictory information. Um, so let's start with some of the police statistics. Um, 95% of them that were in the survey say banning large capacity magazines would not reduce violent crime. Similarly, 71% say um, having a ban on semi-automatic weapons will have no effect. 20% of them said it would increase the problem if you did that. So the police officers are saying it's not the magazine capacity, it's not even the type of gun. And banning them does nothing. I mean, if you're going to ban the gun and you are a criminal, do you think you're going to turn your gun in? Hell no. Um... It just means if somebody like me and, and as a law-abiding citizen handed over my firearms to the police because it was banned, it means I have nothing to defend myself when somebody breaks into my house. Okay, um, so let's continue forward. 28% um, of the uh, law enforcement officers surveyed say a more permissive concealed carry policy would help prevent mass shootings. And they also, uh, 90% of them also believe that there would be a decrease in casualties if armed citizens were present at an active shooter incident. So what they're saying is more guns can be helpful. We've had, you know, incidents, for example, the church shooting, I think it was Texas, where the parishioners shot the guy or a parishioner shot the guy. Um... There was a, um, I forgot what news thing it came from, but it was an armed robber at a convenience store and he was dead on the ground. I think some of you may have seen the picture and it said armed robber shot by everybody. Um, so at any rate, I don't know that they're saying we want you to get involved in the fight. They're saying it might help be a deterrent. Um, and, you know, there's another reason or two for this and i'm sure you're going to hear from me in an upcoming podcast to discuss it um okay now continuing again 59 percent of the law enforcement officers believe that having increased punishment for illegal gun sales and things like straw purchases would help reduce gun violence um what they're saying is go after the people doing the crime what a shock um, okay, so now we have some other nifty pieces of information. Um, for starters, the Department of Justice says that defensive handgun use is more frequent than guns being used by felons. So the interpretation for me is um, armed citizens by either showing or utilizing their weapon are preventing crime. And the other data showed that armed, armed resistors have a low injury rate. You got a gun, the other one's going to think twice. I mean, it's one thing going to rob somebody and they don't have a weapon. Well, somebody's pointing a firearm at you. Um, I have two answers. One, you, you have to be incredibly stupid to keep moving forward with your plan. And two, I mean, for my money, it could be an improvement in the gene pool if you did and got killed in the process. Not meaning the defender. I'm talking about the person 
who's trying to rob you knowing they're walking into an armed conflict. Um, perhaps without a gun. Okay. Now, Rand Corporation said that uh, with concealed carry laws, they had some evidence to show that um, violence increased with the amount of guns going out in, like, with concealed carry holders. But they also acknowledged that, you know, because of states where there is permitless carry, they have no data for any of that. So they're only, they're, they're basically presenting information with one hand tied behind their back. Um, okay, so most of the people that I found, or not people, but most of the places and articles I was sifting through, kept referring back to 22 studies. And, you know, the terminology used for these studies was they were the least flawed studies they could find. Um, and of the 22, 15 showed that there was a, or 15 of the studies showed that there was a decrease in um, gun violence with more guns out in the hands of civilians. Five of the, five of the studies showed that there was an increase in violence. And two of the studies had mixed results. Okay, so if those are the least flawed studies and you are a gun control advocate, you're going to pick the ones that show things are worse when people have guns. You're going to focus on those five studies. And by the way, there are tons of them out there. The problem when you start looking at data is you can fiddle with the numbers and make them look better than they really are. Um, yeah, my case in point was the example I used of the um, assault rifle ban. Well, we took them away and the violence went down. Well, no, your study actually said the violence went down with involving those weapons. It didn't say violence went down. Okay, so... Um, and then there were studies that talked about linking may issue, shall issue, and no issue um, weapon states, and whether or not they had an impact on violent crime. And the answer was yes, no, and maybe. Um, the data was inconclusive. So I tend to look at things, you know, a little more carefully. Yes, am I a gun owner? Am I a gun dealer? Yes. And yes. Um, do I like owning guns? Yes. Does that mean I am a Second Amendment freak? And, I'm, and my apologies to those of you that think I just called you a freak. Because I'm not done yet. Um, and the answer is no. Um, and am I a gun control advocate? The answer is no. I mean, those guys are on another planet. Um, so when you get information, you have to consider a, is the source vi valid, but you also need to consider what's the motivation of the person or the organization doing the study. I did a podcast, um, a little while earlier about, uh, did the CDC hide data? Well, and if, if you listen to it, it was yes and no. They took it down because it was bad data. Even the guy that conducted the study said it was bad data. Um, but then you had um, uh, basically a shitstorm starting over a bad study. And um, the government essentially not doing the right thing by having a party and only inviting the gun control advocates and not the gun right advocates. But it was still bad data. And I'm sorry if I bored you with this, but you know, it's, it seems overwhelming is that the law enforcement officers think or believe that having armed citizens out there is a good thing. And I agree with them. 
there are some limitations. Um, you know, like, for example, helping to prevent, you know, shootings because, you know, you drew your gun and you were able to protect people. Um, I'm pretty sure the law enforcement officers, and actually another study showed this as well, which is in the middle of a gunfight, don't draw your gun and try to help. <laughs> they said, get out of the way. You're a problem. And the problem is they're already involved in a high-stress situation. They don't know you from Adam. And in the middle of a gunfight, you draw a gun. A, it's distracting to the officers, and B, you can get your ass, you know, shot off doing that. So, um, just keep in mind, if you're carrying a weapon, and many of us do, be smart about it. That's all. Um, so, I apologize if this was a little on the boring side, but after looking at all the data and looking at the people who were presenting the data or the organizations they represented, I was getting fed up. So this was my rant on that. I look forward to questions, criticism, comments, um, ideas. You can uh, text or call to 919-808-6480. You can email to info at quarterhorsearms.com. Um, this is Alan with Quarter Horse Arms in Snowcamp, North Carolina. You guys have a great day.